Today I wanted to talk about instrument cables and speaker cables. If you mix these up, it's a recipe for noise in your amp or your sound system. In a perfect world, your speaker cables would be obvious. Thick large gauge cables and speak on connectors. But sometimes, especially with amp heads and speaker cabinets, you'll have speaker cables and instrument cables like these. These are not interchangeable. And these can quickly get mixed together in your cable case or gig bag because they look essentially the same. If you use a speaker cable to connect your instrument to an amp, DI, and or sound system, you will get noise. An instrument cable has one conductor and importantly, a shield. A speaker cable has at least two conductors. The beauty of speak on connectors for speaker cables is that they cannot be mistaken for an instrument connection. You know it's a speaker cable. That's one reason I don't recommend quarter inch connectors for speakers unless the equipment doesn't give you an option. If you do have to have speaker cables with quarter inch connectors, I recommend getting zip style cables like this. That way it's obviously two conductor speaker cable and it's hard to mix up. If you're unsure if you might already have speaker cables mixed in with your instrument cables, there are some things to check. So let's take a look. If you can open the connector, you can check to see if there's a single conductor in shield or two conductors. Sometimes though, there might be heat shrink over the connectors keeping you from opening the ends. If it's not worn off, you can look for markings on the jacket of the cable. Sometimes it will simply say instrument cable. Or it will say speaker cable. Other times it might say something like two conductor or four conductor or something like this. 18 2. Which means 18 gauge, two conductor. And that is speaker cable. These markings will fade over time and use, so if you find any speaker cables in your inventory with quarter inch connectors, it's best to mark them and make them obvious. Of course, sometimes you'll be a system provider and some random musician will show up to connect to the sound system with a speaker cable for their instrument cable. So all of this is good to know, just so that you can quickly check their cable before going too far down the rabbit hole chasing a noisy channel. I've recently added an Anatomy of a Soundcheck PDF tutorial on the Patreon page for $4 patrons. I'll leave a link to that in the text below. This is a video talking about DIs, which dovetails with today's video. As always, I appreciate the likes and subscribes. Those really do help to get YouTube to promote the channel. So thanks for those. Leave me any comments or questions below. Please check out the other videos and I will see you next time.